Hi there, Chris here. So a while back I said I wanted to do a review of this Leatherman True. And between then and now, um, I decided I wanted to kind of do a little bit more homework and a little deeper dive. So what we're gonna have here is a head-to-head -head review of the True against the Rock Tool. Um, the True comes, as you see it here, at 35 bucks. The rock tool comes, as you see it here, with a case for 45 bucks. You can buy, and I did, uh, a Leatherman case for this true, but that's another 20 bucks. And it is stiff, very stiff. Uh, it would work in, as all of these, any multi-tool you buy, they're a little bit stiff out of the box. And they do require, you know, use, they loosen up with use and they get better. So we'll get this out of here. Yeah, so if you have that on your belt, that's going to like, you know, give you a wedgie. I'm <laughs> pulling that out. This, on the other hand, has plenty of room and comes right out. So we'll get rid of the cases. Next thing. Um... When you get them, they're lubricated, but you want to make sure they're fully lubricated. So this one, I put a lot of lubrication in it, and it did loosen up a bit. Um, one of the things I like about this is, is the pliers are spring-loaded. Uh, that's one of the things I like, but what else? Can you do this one-handed? Yes, you can. You can basically do that. Now, a note of caution, <laughs> you play, enough, play around with blades enough, you're going to cut yourself. So it is always better to use two hands, in my opinion. Now, this to release this, you have to push down on here, and that one seems to work pretty good. Um, you have an awl on this one and a can opener. And I think a wire stripper, maybe it's on the other part. So this has the same thing. You have to push this thing down, but you know what? You really, really have to push that thing down and you almost have to push it down into one side. So I don't really like that. It has a saw. There again, not too tough. Um, two hands are better than one. And this, this little release seems to work a little bit better there. It's the middle one that doesn't work so well. This one also has, come on, this has a double stop. Not sure that's, you know, so helpful. But you have to push this down. And then it's magnetic and you have two different bits. And I'll tell you, you kind of have to fight with what this one a little bit to get it out. It takes a little bit of, of getting used to. So, and here again, well, that works pretty good. All right, so, oh, it has that, that double stop, which fools you. What else we got on here? I think that might be it. Oh, it has a deep, if you don't want to do the case thing, it has a deep carry pocket. Both of these multi-tools are four inch. My parameters are, <clears throat> you know, 50, 50, 60 bucks. I'm willing to pay for, for that. Um, you can buy multi-tools from anywhere from $10 to the most expensive Leatherman is about $190. They come with different, more exotic handles, maybe different hardnesses of blades, blah, 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 blah. A few more tool, tools. Actually, not all that many more tools. But that's kind of, the, kind of that. This one, <clears throat> out of the box, and I worked with this. I worked with this, and I worked it and worked it and to, to loosen it up, and it did loosen up. And I lubricate it with 3-in-1 uh, oil. I have no problem with that. 
This one right out of the box is very loose. Doesn't have the spring thing, but that doesn't break my heart at all. Um, and although I don't have a, enough room on camera to show you this, you can one hand, let's see if I destroy the set, you can activate it one-handed, which is kind of nice. Um, so there is that. This has a little thumb nick here, and you get this guy out. And this is just double-sided. I like that system a lot better. You're not fighting with anything. You're not trying to get in somewhere. And this will fit. You can put whatever bits, you know, you want in here. Um, if your line of work or things you do deal with all the time are different than these two tips, you just, you can put one in there. Now, for both of these tools, you can buy, let's see, how does this go? Oh, I like, I like this central lock much easier. That's like, I would have no problem giving one of these to one of my daughters for their cars, um, because it's easy. This other thing, I would not do that because they're gonna, I mean, they're not gonna be able to get it open or closed. So, I do like this central clicking. Sorry about the lighting. Um, so what do we got in here? The other one doesn't have scissors. This one does have scissors. And so you just go like that and then you fold them out. And they're spring loaded. And to close it, you wanna go like this. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, central, central, you just press that central guy and it goes back down. Now, if you want these other guys, let's see if I can get those out. They all tend to wanna to come together. So this one has a wire stripper and a can opener. And what else we got in here? We have, we saw that guy. We have a little glasses uh, thing. We have a big blade. And they go in quite nicely. So what if you want to use one of the blades? Well, they're right here. And I like this. It's a positive stop on both of those. That and the saw, wherever the saw. Here's our saw. Do, 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 do. Oh, it has a nail nick. And it's a very positive stop. Very nice. So already you can see where I'm going with this. 45 bucks. Works like that out of the box. Comes with a case. Where's our case? Comes with a nice case that you don't have to fight with. Awesome. Now, I did say I would talk about lubrication. Um, you want to keep them lubricated. You want to keep them clean. To clean them, you can just use um, glass cleaner, Windex, and clean them up and then re-lubricate them. Now, like I said, I have three in one um, on this one. This one I have not even lubricated. If you want to take these camping, which these are great tools to have camping, uh, what you want to do is, first off, take your Windex and clean off, clean out all the lubrication that's on there. And then what you want to use is a mineral, a food grade mineral oil. And it's often um, sold as butcher block treatment or butcher block uh, seasoning. It imparts no taste to your food. So if you have three in one in oil in there or something else, you're sitting by the campfire and you cut a hunk of sausage or a piece of cheese or a piece of crusty uh, French bread and you eat it, all of a sudden you think, God, it tastes like I'm in the garage. I'm not camping. <laughs> this tastes sort of sort of uh, petroleum-ish. So there you go. This would be my choice. 45 bucks delivered. I don't think you could beat it. Um, you Like I say, you can spend more and get more exotic handles or different. I didn't show this. This has a diamond file and it's a regular file. 
And this regular file, it's okay. I mean, you could do your nails or something, but not that big of a deal. So there again, it has a little closer. So I really like this one. Um, I will carry this and use it and see if it gets worked in a little bit more. But this would be the one if I was going to be carrying one every day, which I may. This is so cool. It would be this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. And we will see you next time.